Minnesota hockey is growing the game with the first ever Gear Up Minnesota Jamboree event held last month at Mariucci Arena. Participating hockey teams played half ice games and were given the chance to watch the Gopher women's and men's teams. The grant-based program awards brand new hockey equipment to associations across the state with the goal to attract new players and make hockey more accessible for all with free equipment. Gear Up Minnesota is a partnership between Minnesota Hockey and Total Hockey, and in the last five years, the program has donated more than 2,200 sets of brand new hockey equipment to 111 associations. It's really critical to have programs that can reduce the barrier to entry for kids. Once they get in, cost isn't really an issue. It's mostly a fear that people have to try the sport. So programs like Gear Up Minnesota are so critical to the growth of youth hockey in Minnesota. Our number one priority is to, to grow the sport, to introduce new families. This is the state of hockey, but that doesn't mean everyone is familiar with the hockey culture here. And, and this is a way to get them involved in it at an early age and, and get them to fall in love with the game. The latest children's book series to hit the shelves teaches life lessons to young people through the sports so many Minnesotans love, the game of hockey. Drop the Puck, Shoot for the Cup is the second book in a series by author Jane Jones and illustrator Katrina Dome, both of whom collaborated on the effort in, of all places, the bleachers of a hockey rink. This story is in our Girton Spotlight. When I started out wanting to write a children's book, I thought it was going to be like a picture book. Over time, you know what, the story developed and there was just so much, so much, so many lessons to teach without it being really necessarily thrown down someone's throat. For a lot of the kids, their focus is on sports. Sports is all they want to talk about, sports is all they want to do. It's great in that some of them need that incentive for reading, it's a subject they really wanted to learn more about, but then it's like you don't really know that you're going to get a life lesson when you start reading a book. The book series is unique in that it uses the game of hockey to teach those valuable life lessons to its readers, something that is difficult to find elsewhere in children's literature. Fans and supporters of the series include NHL players and their families, coaches and kids, all who share the same passion for the game of hockey. It's just a great bonding, great for families to bond, great way to make friendships, great way to learn life lessons anything that has to do with camaraderie. That has been the most joy to me, to figure out, again, capturing that real life, true kind of hockey experience, the hockey traditions, the hockey hair, the hockey handshake. A subject close to her heart, Jane has used the book series as an opportunity to educate young children to respect those with special needs. Named after the super rinks, Blaine is one of the main characters, a child with Down syndrome and the captain of the high school hockey team. So we want to make sure that the books were real life and they also had that special character. Everybody has talents, everybody has unique abilities, and you have to make sure that you're respecting those unique abilities and talents. In our book, Blaine, he's a winner. Blaine's fantastic. Blaine is the spirit of the team. Blaine is who pulls through Hockey Town USA's Pee Wees to make it through in the state championship. The storyline deepens with education on the dangers of checking from behind, and Jack Jablonski's connection with Minnesota hockey remains as the book introduces Ace, a character inspired by Jablonski. As a hockey fan, it's a very important message too that, you know what, hockey has its dangers. If played correctly, it is the best sport that we have. Book two, the stories that it teaches, talks about checking from behind in a sensitive manner, tells the jab story and you know what role model he is and a mentor to young hockey players today. Being featured in the book is obviously something that's uh, pretty surreal. You know, you don't ever expect to be uh, a character in a book, so it's something that you know is it's really unique, and uh, I'm excited about that. While Jack's love for the game continues through an internship with the Los Angeles Kings, Drop the Puck, Shoot for the Cup was released on November 7th during the Jack Jablonski Foundation event, A Night to Believe. The gala raised funds to advance paralysis recovery for those living with a spinal cord injury. Being a part of the hockey community, especially being in Minnesota, it's something that I'll always associate myself with. So it's something that is unlike any other sport, you know, with the foundation, not just my dreams, but you know, everyone else with paralysis and spinal cord injuries, they have their dreams too, and we're just trying to accomplish them. 